kestrel. I am all suitably armored up. I don't know if you can see that in my Jeffy armor leggings. That's from jeffy.com. And obviously my excellent N7 shirt. Here's another quick view of my armored outfit because I think this is slightly better angle. areas in the world. Those tunnels that you will hopefully see in the shots I just took are avalanche protection tunnels for the roads. It can be quite a hairy drive in the winter because it gets really windy as well as the avalanche risk. It gets very snowy. As you hopefully saw there was a lot of snowpack still in the in those crevices in the mountains which is where a lot of the avalanches and snow kind of tumbles down the mountains towards the roads. And it's quite a different drive in the summer so Hopefully I got some good shots. I was getting a bit stressed there because I felt like I was missing everything that I really wanted to show everyone. But I think I got some good footage.
in Golden, BC to get a coffee. Sadly, the coffee shop has two steps up, so Matthew's getting the coffee for me uh, while I sit in my chair outside and enjoy the sun. It's really, really beautiful and sunny. Golden is a, a town, a really small town in a valley surrounded by mountains. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to get my coffee. Got my coffee, iced Americano with some vanilla. So <laughs> uh, we're back on the road. Took us a bit longer than we expected. We found an awesome deli. <laughs> giant meat balsam. I had some bites, it was really good. We still have a half left, I think. But <laughs> it was huge. I think it was two pounds or something. He weighed it for like 12.50 or something, which is pretty amazing if you've ever been to Vancouver. <laughs> and I'm going to take you to the sweet shop. Oh, 
fresh air kind of tired now <laughs> got some stickers for my suitcase and we went into a tourist shop and I couldn't help it but I got something a bit touristy although I guess it's not like a souvenir or anything so are you ready I'm so excited they had like the delicious face too though I'm not very good at it <laughs> uh, but I wanted a big one and they didn't have any so I got the the laughy face which is good because I left Claudette my cloud in the motel this morning and I was really sad about it but now I have a happy face to replace her don't tell her I also got a bit excited in the sweet shop and got a giant haul so I'm gonna make a separate video for that, so you'll have to subscribe to see it. <laughs> okay, we're back on the road to Calgary now. We're gonna pick up Matthew's mom because we have a family wedding tomorrow. So I guess I'll see you when we get to the hotel because I'm pretty tired. Maybe I'll vlog some more before then if something interesting happens. which I haven't stayed at one in a long time, but this one's really nice. It's very clean and bright. <laughs> All the lamps in here are very bright and daylight balanced, which is a bit weird. It's not very cozy, but it does make film and video very easy, so that's nice. I didn't film much through Calgary and to here because it's basically just flat, as you saw, and so it's not the the best or the most spectacular after I've taken you through the Rocky Mountains which 
are pretty amazing. I filmed so much today. I kept feeling like I was missing stuff because I just want to show you everything. And I think I probably filmed more than an hour and a half maybe today. Which is just so much. It's going to take me so long to go through all that footage. I don't know what I was thinking. It's just going to be a lot. Maybe this will be a really long video. It's definitely going to be a really long end. <laughs> I'm so exhausted that I'm just rambling. I have all the pillows. I don't know if you can see. Do you think I have enough? I mean, I don't know. Do you think I have enough pillows? <laughs> I'm not really going to do a hotel tour at this hotel because it's a Ramada and I, and I feel like a lot of people know what to expect from chain hotels. They're pretty standard. I'll give you a quick look around the room though. Over here is the window. It's not much of a view. It's very, that was my cane. <laughs> it's very industrial out, out there. Here's the bed I'm on. We have two beds. My legs. It's not part of the hotel, obviously. I have Zelda socks. Yeah. Over there is a little microwave and fridge area. Um, it was very cold in here when we, when we first arrived, but we're fixing that right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while to edit these, so I don't know when it, I'm gonna get this out. Hopefully not too long. Tomorrow we have the wedding. We just bumped into the bride and the groom and we met the groom for the first time. So that's fun. It's Matthew's cousin. And yeah, weddings make me really nervous because I'm really, I'm not very good at meeting strangers and it's going to be a lot of strangers. So we'll see. We'll probably find a corner to hide in because that tends to be what I do. <laughs> probably don't need to tell you that. On Sunday is when we leave for Jasper. And we are going to stop at Calgary on the way, and I'll make another video of that because we are stopping at a very special donut place. I promise I'm not obsessed with donuts. Just, it's been a really weird stretch of donuts recently as I started filming YouTube videos. And then when we're in Jasper, we're going to try and go to the ice fields, and we're going to go to an old abandoned mining town, hopefully, which apparently the trails are wheelchair accessible, so fingers crossed. And you will see all that because I'm going to make a bunch of videos. So that's going to be exciting. That's next week. Okay, I've probably rambled long enough. If you enjoyed today's road trip vlog, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up as always. Leave it a thumbs up as always. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. There's going to be all sorts of adventures from my time in the mountains coming up. And of course I'm going to make a loot video tomorrow of all the candy I got today. So, thanks for watching. Bye! Mark didn't have a